Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a very simple loading screen for your game. This is going to be very simple, pretty much practically no coding. You can pretty much have fun with this. Anyways, let's get right into the video. First thing that you're going to want to do is go into your view and open your output. This is where you're going to see all the errors. When you get errors, just tell them in the comments. Tell me, tell me them in the comments and I can help you as soon as possible. Next, what you're going to want to do is just press home and click on start your GUI and add a screen GUI. We can rename this to loading screen. Whoops, screw, ah, screen. There we go. Now we can insert a frame. This will be our main frame. Now, instead of just doing it like this, you can do it like this, but the issue with that is that when we go and play test the game, yeah, you get this big open spawn, the edges aren't fully covered actually. Which can be annoying, I guess. So, the way we fix that is by, let's stop the game really quickly. The way we fix that is just make this bigger than it has to be, and then just find the center. There's the center line, and just move it along this axis until you find the middle line. There's the middle line, and there's that's the middle. So now that we found the middle, get just create a color. I think I'm gonna use a nice greenish color. I used gray the last time. This time I think I want to use a green. I like that green. Let's use this green. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and inside of here we're gonna add in a text label find that text label bring it down into the corner where's the I like where's my little green lines Oh, that's gonna be super hard to see because I'm using this green color that is maybe I shouldn't have used this color hold on let me just change it really quickly whoops let me make it a bit darker so I can actually see the lines this time there's the line and let's find the other line. Let's wait until it snaps. And there we go. Now let's go here, select this, and let's go refer to what it previously was. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this at the corner. And I'm going to turn background transparency 1. We want it to be invisible. And what I'm going to do is look for... I'm going to use this font. I like this font. And I'm going to put down loading. Next, I'm just going to go text scaled so that we can scale up the text. And then let's just put this nearly to the nearly like this. It's sort of weird how it's in the middle. So what I like to do is go text x text x alignment and press left. Or if you're going to do this on the right, then you're going to want to press right. But I want it on the left side, so I'm just going to do that. And just like this, we could also do bottom, but yeah it doesn't really do much difference so nah anyways there we go now what we're gonna do is inside of here we're gonna go progress because this is gonna be like our progress right and then inside of here we're just gonna go add in a local script now when you join we're gonna go local actually well we can just we don't have to do anything we can just go script dot parent dot text is equal to or actually no let's just do this local local text equals let's just do local text equals script dot parent dot text and then we could do is text is equal to now we can do is text equals well, actually we can't do that that wouldn't make sense the code wouldn't no let's we're still gonna have to do script dot parent never mind okay, then what we could do is text dot we can do text dot text will be equal to and now we can just do loading dot and then wait 0.5 just like this control C and then we can just do this as many times as we want just copy and paste this loading dot 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 loading dot loading dot loading dot dot loading dot loading dot and then loading dot dot and then right here we could do is we can just do loading so once you have as many loadings as you want 
once you, like this is around the time that will take for a usual game to load so that's why i like to have it this your character should be like fully loaded next what i like to do is loading wait point two five and just press text dot text we'll make this equal to um complete and then put a little exclamation mark there now if we press play as you can actually we cannot see it because the reason we cannot see it is number one i don't really like this color let's i like the color that's number one let's see if i can nope that's i don't like this color let's just go ahead and find that green tint there it is and just there we go i like that color a bit better rich text there we go so number one we have to do is get this plug and it's called auto scale light you can just go into the toolbox and search that up so just search up auto scale light and then you should see it right there so get that plug in you can get it it's super easy and then click unit conversion unit conversion and then just select both of these and just press scale scale and that will convert it so that when you press play it will be the same resolution on all devices as you can see it will start loading and then eventually you should see it says complete right when it says complete there's two things we can do we can do the boring thing which is just to fade this thing away or we can give you some options what we can do is we can then do wait point let's do wait one and then we can go text dot visible equals false or actually yeah that looks so then in a second this thing will go away and then inside this frame what we can do is we can add a text button or you can add a, an image label if that's what you want so if you have like an image that you have that you want to do you can just get this image button if I find it as you see image button this one will allow you to put an image in but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do a button. And what you could do is you can do two choices. Just put down, um, let's put down this one. I'm going to say, I'm going to make this one just a little bit bigger. Just like that. And I am going to go find the center line. And then let's do low detail. Right, rich text scale and then what we can do is find the color I'm gonna go ahead pick that screen color and just make it a bit darker than what it actually is and I'm gonna add in the outline with whoops let's go ahead find the outline let's make it a five outline there we go let's make it a let's go take that color and the outline can be a, can be a, mm, let's just make a black outline there we go then what we can do is this is gonna be our first little thing and then we can duplicate this one since there's no code in it yet and just give it there we go let's sh there we go sort of eyeball it and then here we can do is t set high detail there we go now for the high detail button, we don't really have to do anything because the game will automatically load on high detail. But on the low detail button, there's not really much you can do. You can search up for things like how you can get rid of something. But there's one simple thing that it's like, if you want low detail, this is like one thing that can cause quite a bit of lag. So just press local script. And let's just go find the other locals here. Actually, nope. Let's edit this. And inside of here, what we're going to do is we're going to say script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect and then function put in these two brackets just like that now we have this it's going to function this code right here this if you've done it correctly this n should automatically pop up so what we're going to do is we're just going to go script dot parent dot if i'm correct it's in lighting yep so as you see there's this global shadows what we can do is we can go we're actually going to do whoops we're going to do game dot lighting dot global shadows dot innate global shadows equals 
false. This will mean that this will turn into false. What we can do is game. Actually, what we can do is script dot parent script dot parent dot parent dot parent script. So pretty much script dot parent dot parent and then dot parent dot loading. Nope, script dot parent dot dot enabled. Hold on. Let's see. Okay, script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot load. Nope, dot parent dot loading screen dot visible. Well, actually, note instead of that because that might be a little bit complicated for you guys. You probably don't understand why that happened. I'm just gonna go ahead, delete that loading. I'm gonna go ahead, delete that, and then script dot parent dot loading screen. There we go. That's a bit more easier for you guys to understand. Dot visible. No, dot enabled equals false. And that will pretty much disable everything inside of here, which will be nice. And then what we can do is right in here when you click this, you say reset on spawn. You're going to close that so we don't have to see this every time we load in. Now what we can do is just copy this script. Actually, we can just duplicate this and put it into our high detail button. Inside of here, all we have to do is just delete that. And just like that, that should be done. Okay, so next what we're going to do is high detail, low detail. How do, now we're going to have to like make sure that both these things don't won't be like show until this. Okay, so let me explain this better. So see these two buttons? We're going to go low and then rename to high. And I put an E there. Okay, so pretty much low and high. So what we have to do now is when this thing finishes loading, we have to make these two things come and make them visible. So the way we can do that is we can do two things. We can disable these by pressing a wait at the beginning. So wait, let's make it a bit easier. So if we just put in a wait or actually, yeah, let's put a wait, I guess. And then now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to count everything up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times five is forty-five plus a second. Hold on. So one, two, so that will be one, two, three, four. So that'll be four point five seconds plus a second. Will be five point let's do six seconds should be enough to enable to enable everything right so what we can do is inside of here we can do just go wait six so that means this code will not be able to be enabled until we wait at least six seconds so it might confuse a few people but they'll realize because it's still loading there we go now if we press play these things shouldn't be able to work until we wait six seconds so in six seconds there we go complete now we press. Now it will close, right? Now what we can do is create your basic title at the top of your game. So let's say, what do we want the game to be called? I'm going to put in a little, whoops, wrong one, delete. Yo, little here, text label. Let's find that and let's center this again. Shouldn't be that hard since we already sort of have a little basis. There we go. Find the middle, I guess, and just scale this up just like this and there we go let's rename this to how how to game there we go this is gonna be like this is just a demonstration and then I guess what we can do is let's just go pick a screen color we can use the same color as this I think Ray would probably look a bit better with this GUI but oh well I'm just going to go in here text scaled rich text and I'm gonna use this one I like this font there we go now let's just go here background transparency border pixel size let's go into 5 for the border pixel size and set it to fully black and there we go we have a really simple loading screen now if if you're gonna work on this game you can press the disable button just for now 
and then it should be closed up just like that. So for an example, if I were to put in a part here, and make this thing really big, especially have a lot of weird shadows, what we can do is, as you can see, there's going to be two shadows. I'm going to anchor both of these. If I go ahead and hit play, first I have to enable this right here. There we go. So, so if, first I'm going to show you what it'll look like with high detail. So let me press high detail. We'll still have these shadows here. But if we were to go stop, press play again, this time, if we were to go ahead and click low detail, watch what will happen. Complete low detail, there will be no shadows. So just like that, you created a basic loading screen with a low and high detail mode attached to it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you like this content. Just thank you for watching the video. And I'll see you. Make sure to subscribe. I'll be probably posting up a new video tomorrow. And also, I have a bigger project. Work. I'm working on a quite a big project right now. It's going to be my biggest video so far. Also, the longest. I'm going to put a lot of effort into this one. So, subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Turn on that notification bell. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you guys.